everyone, it's Julia. I wanted to share with you a cute little pillow idea that I made this week. It would make a great little accent for uh, summer decor, like maybe on a little bench or something. I'm using sh a plaid shirting. This plaid shirting is the same on both sides, and I know that it's going to fray really well. It's just one of the characteristics of this shirting. I have my piece cut approximately 13 by 13. These are gonna be small little pillows. This is just a heat, uh, warm and natural quilt batting that I'm using, and I sprayed a little bit of temporary adhesive on that. I'll link all my products down below for your convenience. I'm just spreading that out, and like, having it lay nice and flat. And now I'm starting with my design. I just have this simple star design, and I trace that on the back side of this heat and bond light. I didn't, I guess I forgot to film this part, but I, and I cut it out right on the line. And now I'm going to adhere that and just iron that right onto this. Again, this is a, sh a shirt plaiting and it's the same on both sides. And I want my piece to be cut or just about a half inch all the way around, a little bit larger. And I'll show you what I'm gonna be doing with that. I'm gonna be cutting this out again, approximately a half inch all the around this. I want this to really have a neat fraying look, and that is my reasoning behind cutting this out. And I don't want that heat and bond to be in this, this um, seam allowance at all. Once that's cut out, I'm just gonna take that paper backing away just to expose that iron-on adhesive. And then we'll be flipping this over and then pressing that into, into place. While I was doing this, I was thinking if it would have been so cute to quilt that on a diagonal, like a channel quilting, and I did not do that, that background piece. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stitch all the way around this just to, just to make sure that batting stays into place. But like I said, a channel quilting would have been so cute on that. Um, before you ironed on the little star. And then I went and I, and I also stitched that star, but leaving that about a half inch around, around it. This is like a very simple little construction. Um, I'm putting the wrong sides together. I'm gonna pin this into place. It's been a while since I uploaded. I've been busy just getting my summer shop going. Um, it went well. It was very hot and windy and really dusty. It's really dry here right now in this part of Minnesota, but it was a successful weekend. Um, it was like, I, I'm tired. <laughs> I think I'm getting old, too old for this sometimes, but um, I thought I would just throw this quick little video together for you. I'm going to stitch this all the way around, leaving that opening approximately a half inch all the way around. And then I threw this in the washing machine before I stuffed it. And it really gave that wonderful fray look on the star and all the way around this little pillow. It's gonna give it one little iron just to kind of keep everything into place. And, and then I'm gonna be stuffing this um, you do have to kind of give it a little haircut because sometimes it does have some loose strings hanging after you get it out of the dryer. It's on to, to uh, filling my little pillow. I'm just using an inexpensive fiber fill for this that I picked up at my local craft sh store. I do like to pull it apart like that and then I stuff the corners first and then we'll stuff the middle. To close the opening, I'm going to just clip it first with my Wonder Clips and then take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to just sew across. And I do like to use my zipper foot for this. It just seems to work the best on my, on my machine. And I have some pictures at the end. I actually did several of these and I just displayed them in this little basket. I just thought they, took, took, they just turned out so cute. I hope you enjoyed this, everyone. I hope you have a happy summer. Um, and I hope to get back on more of a regular schedule now with my videos. 
Thanks for being patient. Bye for now.